follow your own advices. We often give advices to others that we don't listen to and we don't follow ourselves. And when we do that, it's very hard for us to grow and actually achieve the life that we want. This is why this morning I'll give you some of my insights of and my experience of how I do that and how I manage to uh, follow my advices and how I don't follow it sometimes. <clears throat> and this is why I'm doing this live video. Good morning, everyone, or whoever it is. Good evening or good afternoon, whatever it is there where you are. I just receive, uh, decide to do this live video to share with you some insights because tonight, <coughs> excuse me, at, I needed to get up at 2 a.m. because I wanted to have a conversation or like mini mini talk with Evan Carmichael, whoever knows who is he, he's an amazing person and he have this thing, movement makers, and I'm part of it and I want to ask him to for some advice so I get some coaching myself <coughs> and what he give me, it makes me think about uh, what I'm doing and so on and so forth. So, the advice was, uh, I, I was asking him some questions and pretty much the questions were coming back to me because very often we expect that someone will do the work for us, our own work inside ourselves. Not, I'm not talking about external work, I'm talking about internal work on ourselves and very often we expect that someone else will do the work and we hope that someone else and we uh, ask them questions and we sometimes, I, I'm trying not to do that, but sometimes we blame others for our own mistakes and we don't want to admit <coughs> we become victims, I'm sorry, my, something with my throat, and we become these victims and then we don't actually w do the work on ourselves. And if we don't do the work on ourselves, no one else will ever do it. That's something that I've, I've always hoped that someone else can do the hard work for us and for me personally, and I can just enjoy the benefits. But that may work in the outside world, but it will never work in the inside world. Because the only person that can, do, that can work on yourself is yourself, on, that can work on you, better said, is yourself. So, sometimes we need to do the hard work even if we don't like it, because then we reap the benefits from it. And we are the only one that get benefit from it. And of course, everyone else can will get a benefit if you're a better person, but you are the one that gets the most benefits from working on yourself. <clears throat> so that's extremely, extremely important. And that's what I got. So that's some of my first thoughts because I usually uh, have lots of thoughts in the morning and uh, and even though I didn't sleep very good because I needed to wake up at 2 a.m. for an hour, hour and a half, then I need to go back to bed, which I've never do that and it's very hard for me to sleep and especially when it triggers some uh, mental process, but I did it because I needed to get this feedback and this, let's say, coaching that helps me grow. And what it reminds me of, first thing, is that, as I say, all these questions that he asked are questions that I was hoping he will answer, but when I thought of it, when he asked me back, is uh, it, it made me think that no one else can give me the answers to this question because I'm the only person that knows them. I was hoping he will give me the answers and it will make it easier for me, but I'm the only one that have these answers because they come to answers for my personal self. He may give me some direction or whoever or she, whatever, can give me some direction, but if I'm not willing to do the work inside of me and I'm not willing to do it for me, then it will never happen. And then 
that brings me to the other thing <coughs> that is the topic of uh, as i mentioned movement makers is the topic of uh, this month that we do challenges on and that's trusting the process and all month i'm talking about trusting the process and i realize that sometimes i don't trust my the process myself and i i said in the video in the other videos if you watch them I said that I, in my in my opinion there are two parts of trusting the process <coughs> excuse me one part is where we just uh, where where we trust the process like a bigger picture in a way that we trust in some bigger power than us we trust that things are happening for us not to us because if you believe uh, that things are happening to you as I mentioned earlier, you just become the victim. And when you become the victim, there is no way you can create the life that you want. You just suffer. And I'm not saying that you're not a victim and things are not happening to you that you don't deserve. But even if that's the case, if you don't, tr if you don't believe that there is higher power, if you don't take responsibility and do the work on yourself, inside of you, then you, it will never happen the way you want to happen. If you take responsibility and stop being the victim, even if that's the case, even if you are a victim of, because things happen in life that we don't have control of, even if that's the case, if you take responsibility and do the work on yourself and do as much as you can, you will see that your life will improve significantly. That's one of the main things that I'm thinking and trying to teach people. That when you take responsibility, you take back power. And I'm not saying that there are not bad things happening to you. Of course, there, there is bad things happening to even the best people in the best situation. They also struggle on a daily basis with some stuff. So don't be the victim. And that's the bigger part of trusting the process. That things are happening for you so usually when you have challenges if you go back into your life there always for each challenge there was something that you learned there was something that you grew and if uh, grew with and from and uh, uh, if you if you decide to be the victim then this growth will not happen and to get the life that you want you need to reach a certain level and to reach this certain level you need to go through these challenges and that will help you grow. If you're a victim, even if you go through these challenges, you become, you decide to be the victim. So you never take control and you never grow. So you never get the life that you want. So don't be the victim. That's the first thing. So trust the process that there is a higher power and uh, you can trust God or any kind of other stuff like that. And hello, Stefan. And... Um, any kind of that, but if you don't believe in something greater than you and if you don't believe that things are happening for you, then it will be very, very hard for you to create the life that you want. And that's what we aim for, to create the life that you want. That's why we want to earn money. That's why we want to uh, surround ourselves with nice people. And that's why we want to take care of ourselves and so on and so forth. Because we want to create the life that we want. And if you don't trust the process on this side, then it will be very hard for you to this to happen. Stefan says, best coach ever. Thank you, Stefan. <coughs> and the other part of trusting the process is that when someone gives you the steps, and even if it looks and sounds like something stupid and ridiculous or it doesn't make sense to you, then... If you know that this person, of course, have good intention and have achieved the results that you want, the way you want to achieve them, then it will be. Uh, then you need to trust the process, and even if it doesn't make sense, you need to do the steps. You need to do the work, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Do the work on yourself, and trust the process, and keep going, and this way you get the results that you want. Because if there is someone that have achieved the results that you want, the way you want to achieve them, and you have good intentions, of course, 
even if they take your money, that doesn't mean that they have uh, bad intention, even if they take millions from you, doesn't mean that they don't they have bad intention. They still can have good intention and uh, money doesn't have anything to do with that. I, I just know that some of you say, oh, but, yeah, but he asked me for so much money. It doesn't matter. It, if they bring you to the place and no worries, Stefan, thank you for watching. Um, and if they if they give you the results, everything is worth it. So, again, I need to mention, don't just go and follow someone random by um, and and just that have not received have not achieved the results that you want, and just go for it. Uh, go with someone that have achieved the results that you want, but the way you want to achieve them, not just have the results. Because as I mentioned in previous. There, there might be two people that have earned, let's say, money. Let's, there might be two people that have earned the money that you want to earn. But one have achieved, have earned them with some crazy, like killing people or stealing from people. And the other one have achieved them the way you want to achieve them with good people, uh, good things, fulfilled, uh, fulfilling things and so on and so forth. So you want to get advice from people that have achieved the result that you want the way you want to achieve them. And again, as I mentioned, I, this morning I, I realized and this uh, early, early morning at 2 a.m. I realized that I actually sometimes I don't trust my own processes in this way to working on myself. There is a, in just a specific area. So, so I kind of uh, did when, when I had this coach, uh, coaching call. I kind of reflected back on myself and I realized why do I expect someone else to do this work for me and why do I who who do I think will do this work for me when I'm the only one that knows the answer I need to go inside myself and search for the answers so that's the kind of like the facts that I receive facts I don't know if for whoever knows what facts is I uh, I like the expression I receive the facts it's like a random message out of nowhere. It just pops in your head and it just expands, expands, expands. But the idea is that I was talking all month for trusting the process and uh, in this specific area and I, I didn't do it myself. And also I, ex I was expecting for some reason, which usually I don't do that, but no one is perfect. I was expecting someone else to do the work for me. And... That's something that will never happen when it comes to personal development and going inside of yourself and so on and so forth. So if you want to uh, achieve greatness in your life, you need to do the work on yourself. No one else will do the work on yourself. And you're the, the one that you benefit the most out of it. But you need to do the work, even if it's hard, because it always pay, pays off. In my life, I've always tried to do what I believed was the right thing. And uh, it's usually the hard thing. And I always have these thoughts in my head. Oh, should I just not do it because it's easier? And never ever in my life, when I did the right thing, I was feeling uh, like I regretted it after. Never. Like I've always was so much happier that I did the right, the right thing. Even if it was much harder, I was always grateful and happy that I did it. And most people think that when you choose the easy thing, it will make your life easier. But easy thing will never make your life easier. If you do the right thing, which almost always is the hard thing, then you will see that everything else in your life will get much, much easier. And another thing that I, I got, I'll share just one more thing with you. I'm not going to go too crazy because time is flying. Another thing that I want to share with you is another thing that I received as a fax in my head this morning was about uh, mastering the basics. So in each area of your life, every single area of your life, there are some basics. So. Uh, if you master the basics, you will be able to achieve, to have great life. In the main areas, of course, in, in whatever area, you will be successful because the basics 
are the 20% effort and even sometimes less than 20% that give you more than 80, gives you more than 80% result. And that's what we need because unfortunately we don't have the time to do all the things we want to do uh, the way we want to do them and we don't have time to learn everything we want to learn and do everything we want to do and so on and so forth. So we need to, in my opinion, that's how I try to live my life. I need to get the maximum out of something with the least amount of effort. And I'm not talking about just being lazy. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible, which means that I may do for a short time like hard work so I can get bigger benefits uh, as as much benefits I can get with the least amount of time, more more time for me than effort. I don't count, I don't calculate things in effort because I don't mind putting the work and make more effort if in a short time I get much greater reward. And that's when it comes, and that's the basics. That's what I'm saying. That's the basics that you need for you to achieve these results. So I'll give you a very, very simple example. Let's say marketing. Marketing is a big thing. So if you know how to market and how to be good in marketing and sales, you will be able to get most of the things in life. You will be good in business, you will be good in relationship, and you will be good in persuasion people, in persuading people. So it means that people will want to do what you ask them to do. And of course, I'm meaning in positive way here. You can do it in a bad way, but if you want to be a, to have a great life, you need to do it in a positive way. But let's go to business. Let's say one of the biggest um, biggest areas of our life: business, career, and finances. If you know, maybe you know the newest trend, the best thing that is trending right now. Let's say on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. You know the best strategy that works on this uh, specific platform at the moment. And maybe that's one, one thing, but if you don't know the basics of marketing and sales, maybe you will be successful in this short period of time that this thing works as, uh, as uh, works best. But after that, it will not work for long because it's not from the basics. Basics are the only things that stay for long, long period of time. So if you don't know the basics, then it will be very hard for you. Let's go back to the marketing example. If you know the basics of marketing, that will always serve you no matter how much, uh, what situation you are, no matter how much the social media change, then you will get results all the time. When it comes to health, maybe you know one specific food, let's say nutrition, maybe you know one specific food that is very, very good for you. But you can't just stick with this one specific food. Even if you know all the ingredients, all the amounts, everything for it, like when to eat it, how to eat it, how it's perfect to eat it, uh, how much calories, how much protein, how much uh, uh, carbs and fats and everything. Maybe you know everything about one food, but that will not make you healthy, even if you only eat this one food. Because you need to focus on the basics. Basics will give you the results. Let's say for nutrition, you need to focus on basic, simple foods. Plant-based, simple, basic, whole foods. If you do that, even if you have no idea about the amount of uh, uh, protein, carbs, or whatever, uh, calories, all kind of stuff like that, if you focus on just this thing, which is the basics, of course, there is a bit more to it. I'm simplifying here as, as much as I can, just for you to get the idea. If you do that, you will be able to be much, much, much healthier than if you just know this absolutely everything about this small food. I'm not saying don't, <clears throat> don't learn about the food. That's a very good thing to learn about the food and to know uh, as much as you can. Always, it's always best to know as much as you can. But if you don't know the basis, the basics, you will not be able to, you take much, it will take much more effort to achieve any results in your life. And that's even like now we're talking about business and health, but it goes the same into relationships as well. Any kind of relationship, personal, like intimate relationship or family, 
and so on and so forth. You may know, let's say, about a person, you may know what's their biggest secret and what's their biggest desire and so on and so forth. And that's, uh, you may know everything about that, but that's just one thing. And if you don't know the basics of, communi- of uh, relationships, then it will be very hard for you to get good relationship. Let's say one of the basics of relationship is communication. If you master communication, you will be able to have great relationship with absolutely everyone. If you know how to communicate. This is why I'm saying master the basics. That's one of the keys to happy life. If you master the basics of each area of life, for me, I like I, I try to master the main areas, let's say health, the other one is relationships, uh, personal development, spirituality, and of course, finances and business and growth and stuff like that. So for everyone is different, but that's kind of like the main ones that we need to have, take, you need to take care of. So if you spend, let's say there are five, if you spend 20% of your time on each one for you to get 80% results, hello Marinella, uh, Mariella. Um, so if you spend 20% of five, five different areas, that means 100% of your time. But if each 20% gives you 80% result, how much is that? Five times 80, 400% results you get back with your 100% of your effort. That's four times more. And usually, when you master the basics, you need to spend much, it it takes a little bit of time in the beginning, but then it takes much less time for you to actually use them. And then you get with your, like, sometimes like 30, 30, 40, 50% of your time, you get four, five hundred percent of the results in your main areas. And if you cover kind of the main areas of your life, you will have a happy and successful and fulfilled life so that's pretty much that pretty much covers i i tried to be short that's my morning inspiration i got my morning ideas out of nowhere in the middle of the night (coughs) and this is why i decided to share them with you because sometimes we need to uh, first we need to do no one will ever do the work on ourselves Thank you, Mariella, too, for watching. No one, I'll go through them quickly. So no one will ever do the work on ourselves. If we don't work on ourselves, no one will be able to do the work. No matter how good the other person is, you, you're the one that needs to do the work on yourself. And also, you're the one that benefits the most out of it. Second thing is, excuse me, trust the process. Trust the process that there is things are happening for you not to you and also trust the process of someone that have achieved the results that you want the way you want to achieve them and of course have good intention for you and last but not least master the basics of the main areas of life and you will be happy you will be happy fulfilled and have a successful life